What's up, YouTube? We're so back. Also, do you guys like my stream title? It says, whoa. It says, day seven. This is an FF7 reference. The feeling of welcoming to another world, yeah. Be that right, yeah. Oh, and the good music here, I forgot. Oh, guys, green line. Day seven on FF9 in three days. Well. We've, we've been streaming, I mean like, I'm gonna stream it for seven days. Oh. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, Lemon, is that an Ash Bato emote? I love Ashley. Sure is Pog. <laughs> oh! How do I say your name? H S H H F R. Godspeed. You got this. Enjoy disc two. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Rally ho. Dr. D, it's because we had a chatter um, who said, who's kind of just spamming nonsense a little bit and said, is Nobuo Umansu the Han Zimmer of Japan? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Just making sure you were aware. <laughs> Any Peach Cobbler fans in chat? I would say probably yes. Okay. So where did we leave off? Vivi was like, wait, I'm coming with you. Chuck was in Chorno, yes. The hooting and hollering in this, I'm still not over it. Oh, and that we were gonna go find, they like said they saw the, the white dragon, right? But why movie studios in FF9? <laughs> yeah, Bard, happy Pride. I guess I haven't streamed. Well, I guess we kind of streamed as it rolled into Pride Month last time, but happy Pride, everybody. It is a smiley house. <laughs> Vanessa. Okay, I think that I'm prepared. Let's make sure we are. Oh, counter. Maybe I synthesized stuff that I haven't equipped yet. We only have Ramu and I haven't even summoned him yet, so uh, I don't know. Okay, now Vivi needs to learn Loudmouth. That ability is goaded for our casters. It's anti-silence. Oh, I forgot we got the silk robe as well. Okay, that's huge. From FF7? Yeah, FF7 reference. Me too, Unholy. I love the way they do equipment and abilities in this. God, this music is so good.
Uh. Okay. Yeah, Dewey, they were just making fun of me because every time I see anything tangentially related to FF7, I say it's an FF7 reference. So I'm being a little kooky crazy. And Sephi, yeah. I'm just I'm just notorious. Like I I'm I'm perpetually Moogle Brain Koopa. FF7 mentioned? That's a thing from the other game. <laughs> exactly. I don't like the sun because it makes me hot. So real. But the light is pretty, isn't it? Especially through the leaves. This is literally me. This is me walking my dog, getting fucking grumpy because it's so hot. And I'm like, I, don't, I need to go inside. The sun is roasting me alive. And then I go underneath a little shade. And I'm like, oh my God, wait, this is so sweet and pretty and nice. Maybe outdoors is good. That's me. I think there's also a sun in FF7. See, do we? <laughs> Seamless, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I live in California, same. I live in Illinois and I feel that way. I feel like in California it's even more... like... sunny. Intense. Do you know of the Japanese concept of komrebi? I don't think so, Vanessa. What is that? FF9 came out much in the twilight years of the PS1 and FFX was one of the first huge PS2 releases. It really does feel like a closing era game, for sure. Sun is a mortal enemy. I agree for the most part. Ever since I've had, I've gotten a dog and I'm walking a lot more and outside a lot more, I do see the value. I see the value in sun. Um, but it still, it still hurts me. Not hot West LA. Uh, for the most part though. That did surprise me how cool it got at night in LA when I visited. It's the Japanese word for the shimmering of light and shadows that's created by leaves swaying in the wind that exists only in that moment. That's so beautiful. What the hell? I am obsessed with that. That's really poetic. Southeast US hot, humid, jungle ass climate, currently 87 and the sun is down. That's, I'm, that's abysmal, I'm so sorry. I do dance to every song, pretty much. Um, I used to live in Washington, D.C. And it, that was like, I know it gets even hotter, but like that was peak swamplands and I, I had a hard time. Yeah, Swamp Central. You got a chocobo, those are in 772. I have zero, by the way. Okay. Okay, this is a little bit of a kumquat. What did they tell me last time? Does anybody remember? They were like, oh, we saw the pale drake or something. What, did they say north? Is Chocobo and Peach Cobbler? It looks like over there probably, right? I also imagine there's probably a chocobo situation around here somewhere. Oh yeah, do I need to go back to the, the Scottish people? Wait, I just wanna hear this song. Wait, let me dismount. Yeah, and seat the scaleless. No audio on the screen? Ah. Uh. Uh.
Baby for the nine months and the ninth Final Fantasy, also the best one. Thanks for nine months. Enjoy your teal Capricorn sub badge. What are we naming the child? Okay, we can go back to the the Scottish people. I will have to do my accent again, unfortunately. I love Queena, dude. Queena is my goat. They rule. Can no like caves or anything? The child we named tuberculosis. I love it. I accept. Hello. Oh, the sanctuary. I'm trying to remember what we, what we learned about the sanctuary. This is kumquat for you to answer my question. Um, is that just where they said they saw Kuja? Yeah, okay. Okay, and that um, when we were here the last time they were talking about the sanctuary, it's like where they go to like get married and like praise the god, the sun god or something. Just toot my flute. All right. I'm naming my kid VV2. <laughs> VV2, Electric Boogaloo. Okay. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarfies block way out of shop on right side. No can't get through. Hmm. Well, let's just try to go as far as we can. Hi, Shotenka. Yeah, I am using the Maguri mod, so it's polished up a little bit, but... Even so, I think it's aged really excellently. A VV3. Okay, guys, I have to do the accent again. I'm very sorry. Did you meet the pointy hats? Yeah, we did. <clears throat> a long time ago, a man once tried to, to head Otis to here. But he hadn't undergone the ceremony, so he couldn't have passed through. The ceremony? Can I get some rally hoes in chat? My Scottish blood loves this. I feel like I'm, I'm, I, I, my accent is bad and I know it. <laughs> and then in the background, yeah, that's, that was kind of what I was gathering. My memory of this game is hazy and I got lost despite the super, uh, getting super far into the game. The good old days of renting bar and games from friends. Yeah, I've, I've been there too. Rally ho, which Mina, good to see you. You didn't expect me to work on such a fine day as this, do you? Do ye? Oh, I already talked to you. So we're on like couple number 100. Wait, I wanted to read that one more time. Current number of couples who having received blessings of the sun and the heavens through the authority of Father David have visited the sanctuary. So it seems like we maybe need a blessing by the authority of Father David. Say, say, <laughs> I want to get through here. Bletheration? Only those who've received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness. And where is his holiness? Ah, d <laughs> I didn't know where he is. Well, shit. The Kirk boat. A few more days for the FF9 remake announcement. You're very confident. I love this for you. The gatekeeper. Speak to his holiness. I don't care. Nobody knows where he is, dude. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I know we have some newcomers here. So here's what I'll say. Um. Oh, no worries, you were given, yeah, no worries. I think, most, I, I tell my mods just to delete stuff anyway, for, even if it's like jokes, because sometimes it's ambiguous and sometimes it still affects the way I like would approach something. But um, for those who are new, uh, I don't want any like tips or backseating unless I say the word kumquat, which is my safe word, and then y'all can go ham. Um, and I will ask stuff and that's almost always rhetorical. Yeah, it's kind of a different sort of language, Asher. And yeah, Lemon, no worries again, you're good. Hi, Flowey. Big yawn. Hi, baby dog. I let her run through the baseball diamond again today and she got very muddy again. But welcome to hell. I fucked it up too and she still lets me be here. <laughs> hey, as I know y'all mean well, as long as you're not actively trying to break the rules. You know, I just used a towel this time and it did the trick. It wasn't as caked on. Where is his holiness? We talked to them. If I could spend my life doing nothing but eating, I'd die a happy man. See, Kande Piti is surrounded by the mountains near home the woods and blessed by the sun. Okay, but where's the, his holiness, dog? Don't answer that. I don't like Tetra Master. Hello? Hey, mister. Are you the holy guy? Aye, I'm Father David. He's just chilling. He's just walking around. Oh, he, I, <laughs> what made him spawn here? I wonder, that's so funny. Um, Tetra Master, I don't like because I feel like too much is just like opaque and confusing and weird. And they take my cards away. Hi, sweetie. You're a little sleepy. Why are you staring at me like this? Can you guys see her? Not really. Good girl! She plopped. Thanks, Vanessa. It's not really worth getting better at either. Yeah, and like I loved Queen's Blood. Oh, triple tries in 14. The cards make no sense, random values. Yeah, I think too much is left up to chance and that's kind of why I'm not, I don't vibe with it. I, I'm Father David. What are you doing hanging around with this hallway? A great question, Zidane. Well, a priest is much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever, look, we want to get past this village, <laughs> Zidane. Huh. Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is that ceremony about anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in holy... Okay, no. Dude, do we have to get married? They're too young. They're too young to get married. Is this allowed? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. I think they're both 16, if I remember correctly. So basically it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I don't know, your words, lad, but me thinks you understand. So we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Dagger. Yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched, but there's no way we'd actually... Let's do it! Dog, what? No hesitation. What? <laughs> Me, I am Zidane. In seven, I'm Yuffie. In nine, I'm Zidane. <laughs> Although maybe in nine, I'm Queena, actually. So you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony is only for dwarves, see. But we have, we have say, a few young folks nowadays. We're, we're doing to 99 couples. I was worried about that very thing. 
But what's the harm? Now we can have our hundredth ceremony. Zidane. <laughs> Zidane's shook. Uh, dagger? What's, what's going on? It, it's happening so fast, dude! <laughs> Dunrick, shut up. <laughs> Ooh, I've heard Beetlejuice the musical is really good, Maddie. Queen is a queen's that checks out, which Mina, you're too kind. You also like Mog, I'm sharpening my knife. Music? Spirits of the mountain, spirits of the wood. Uh, how did I get into this? Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. We gotta do this ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Um, this is Pride Month for the record, so, um, not very chill of them. Yeah, Zidane kind of did have cold feet, honestly. Oh my god. Rally marriage! Now hold on a sec, Dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. <laughs> Why would he spell it like that? No kidding. But we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but... But, but that's not reason enough. Zidane is a little bit too much of a fuckboy for this, I think. He's a commitment phobe. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health. Of course we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry ye through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? Zidane, I thought he would know better. I, th I feel like he has, he has to know. He has to know. Hi, Cayman. Twoo, love. <laughs> Continues being the ultimate gentleman. He's still a teen. That's true. He is still a teenager. So many of us, myself included, were very oblivious to that stuff as teens. Half Casanova, half Himbo. That's it, Goose. You're right. That's really what it is. Green Funk, that's true. Ha ah, yeah, as teens. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm also that way as a 30-year-old, so... <laughs> I can be a little oblivious. I have a story, but I'm, I'm not gonna tell you guys. <laughs> I dropped my fidget ring. Sorry, that one's just for me. Could it be that she likes me? And the wisdom to follow the path? Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me? I'm such a stud. <laughs> This guy, he's so endearing. He's so endearing. Hi, Rose. <laughs> May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dagger, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. <laughs> Look how he's standing. Oh. <laughs> hard to get, eh? <laughs> Happy fit. Now you need announce your join into the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Ah, well. Time for us newlyweds to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. <laughs> Zidane, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? <laughs> but you can't no, just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. I 
I have to, right? I have to. <laughs> Why don't you guys get married too? What? Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. <laughs> Nuptial joy. <sighs> Have the strength to carry you through the trials. <laughs> And the wisdom to follow the path. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. I so happy. <laughs> um, me too. Thief! Yeah, presumed male and non-binary couple. Yeah, exactly. I so pog. <sighs> she almost ate him, yeah. Hey guys, we're the newlyweds, the Dan and Dagger. Rally ho, happy fit. Off to the sanctuary then, are you? That's right, will you let us through now? Rally ho, of course, safe journey to both of you. Let us be off, my darling. <laughs> Thief! Huh? Mog, hurry! Who is this? Is that a dead moose? Does she have a unicorn horn? Koopo! <gasps> well, what's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Um, who is that? I'm obsessed already. They got away. What is that word? I'm afraid if I try to say that, I'm going to accidentally say a slur. Oh, it's fuck? Okay. Quina is like 90 years old or something. But like, both Quina and Vivi are not human. Um, and also like... I don't, this clearly isn't like marriage marriage. You know what I mean? It's just like the human perception of marriage. And then it's like tongue in cheek, very silly thing with Vivi and uh, Quina. I don't think there's a real implication because <laughs> Vivi is nine. The dwarf perception of marriage. Yeah. This is the one F word. <laughs> because of the implication. Fuck! <laughs> and we cannot go any further. Does anyone live out there? Of course not, it's forbidden. Oh, Yon two thieves are always snitching food. Oh yeah? I'll catch them next time. Oh, hi guys. So you've had your ceremony, right? Yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. Hi, Dino. That's true, Isahara. Yeah, Queen is non-binary. Why is there... Th oh, oh, that's a door. Oh, okay, so that's what they were blocking before. Also, it's Pride Month, for the record. We get a whole month here. Do you guys like that I included the tag gay in all caps today? <laughs> Double date. <gasps> hey. Mountain path. Koopa po! Hurry, Mog, before we get caught. Koopa, I love them. <laughs> Music as well. I have chills.
Koopo. What's wrong, Mog? Koopo! But wait! Don't leave me here! <sighs> Stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. He has a tail, though. Huh? Ah! Help! Don't eat me! I won't taste good! It's true, I taste awful! You heard her, Queena. I see, too bad. <laughs> but Moogle that ran away a very strange color. I'll go find and eat it, Queena. Queena, do, do not eat my kind. This is not, not good. No, don't! Ah! <laughs> gotcha. Thanks. Her outfit is funny, like her her sleeves are all one thing. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay, I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? And I do have a name, you know. Look at how cute she is. I go six. She's six. Horned human, right-handed, six, female. Which is that how you guys would say her name, Aiko? She's a horned human, just a little lass. Greg, I'm, I love to hear that. Aiko, Aiko. I pronounce it Phoebe. <laughs> the name's Aiko. Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduced yourself first. You got a problem! <laughs> I'm Dagger, and this is Vivi. Yeah? What about you? Me? I'm Zidane. Does she have little wings? She reminds me of that one race in Crystal Chronicles, the Spellcasters. Zidane. All right. So, oh, I don't, I don't know how I want to say her name. Aiko is what came to mind first. I don't think I would say Aiko. I would maybe say Iko. No, I think Aiko is how I would say it. She's feisty. Yeah, I'm excited. I already love her. I already love her. So, Miss Aiko, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like Queena. Hey, did they really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no, they're gonna eat Mog! I don't think Queena would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Aiko? Yeah, be on this path. I'm sure Mog went home. Why don't we take her home? Yes, yes, anything for my lovely wife. <laughs> Another three months in advance? Flopper289, you legend. Thank you so much. That's really, really kind. Thanks, dude. Welcome to the Corn Hub. Also, if anybody here is new um, from TikTok or otherwise and wants to join our Discord, there's the Discord link. No pressure. No pressure. But just in case anybody wants it. Aiko can to eight. Yeah. Yeah, I think Aiko for me is the way I would say it. Yes, yes. Anything for my lovely wife. <laughs> Queen of Woody to Moogle, I wouldn't put it past them. Hold on, I'm screenshotting this because this is funny. Zidane would absolutely be a wife guy. A hundred percent. Without a doubt. You two are married? Yep, we're newlyweds. No, no, we're just friends. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Be your friend too. Oh my god. I wonder what kind of class she is. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I want to find out for myself. Alright then, let's go to our new friend's house. Friends. 
How else is Queen supposed to learn Moogle skills? Yeah, like how to send letters. I wonder if I can make that jump. Oh! Is she already in my party? <gasps> she is! No. A white mage. Okay. So she's like dagger. Fenrir? I'm gonna do it. I wanna see. Terrestrial rage. Yes. Be still my beating heart. Jess is playing FF9. It's true. Thanks for the resub. Moon. Moon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, Dagger, was that an Adalon? I think so. That was so cool! I could use summon magic too? I'm pogging out of my mind. That was so cool! The way that it punched, and then they Team Rocket glinted in the distance. Okay, well, now I gotta see Ramu. Wait, why is it just floating? Oh, it vanished. Judgment Bolt. Let's see it, chat. Let's see it. There he is! The old man! He's like all beard. Nice sandals. Dude, this is awesome. That's really cool. Ramu, not one of my all-time favorite summons, but still really cool. Fenrir rocked my world. Look at Echo's little Portrait! Look at her little portrait! She is so sweet and cute! Hi, Chloe! Stretching. Are you nesting a little? Good girl. Good girl. That's a lot of money. She heard Fenrir howling, true. My favorite summon is almost always Odin. Odin is like my goat. Oh, here. I don't know if I should say anything. If you're gonna backseat or tell me the thing about the game, definitely don't. You can say it in the Discord channel and the mods can decide. But yeah, please don't, please don't say anything. Hi, Dust! I feel like I should go to the, the, their Oglop spotted. I should go to their house first. Guac. Okay. Oops. Oh wait, I wanted to look. Look at Ico. Auto regen. Holy shit. Dude, that is like kind of wild. That seems like kind of OP. <laughs> if Reet and Ramu I was pronouncing wrong for forever. Bahamut Gang. Shiva. I also love Shi uh, Shiva. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we'll go here first, I guess. Wait, I thought this is where I was going. Okay, never mind. 
Aglops. That's the round. Tent moment. I don't know about these stones. I'm gonna leave them for a second before I, um, or at, while I explore more. The question mark from 7OG, that is a very hilarious thing. Hi, Oglops. Oh my God, we're following the Oglops. <gasps> six, six, six. Thanks, buddy. With this money, I continue my journey. Suzuna. Thanks for delivering mail from Mogmat. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him, Koopo. It's been six months since I started living in Conde Piti. The food here is great and the people are very nice, Koopo. But, but the only thing I can't really get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Koopo. <laughs> Rally Koopo chat. <laughs> Rally Koopo. The Stiltskin Fund, yeah. Village life sounds hard, Koopo. I want mail. Rally Koopo. Charm for days, I agree. I'm, I love that we're still getting new party members. I guess we're not that far into the game. We're getting there, I guess. There's a hole. Okay, so it needs one of the stones, I'm guessing. I don't know if we do blue or red. But don't tell me either. Don't don't answer that chat. Well, that's kind of trippy. <laughs> Semi run. What's that? What's what? The tree? Whoa. What the heck? Is that the Erd tree? Is that the sanctuary? Oh, that would make sense. What the? Oh. Um, I'm not prepared for this. Oh, Cyclops moment. Okay. Immediately summoning Fenrir. BDSM Shrek. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, we only get the cutscene one time. Maybe under certain circumstances. Miss. How did we miss? What if I attack him? Uh oh. You just fisted BDSM Shrek. Okay, not great. Okay, good. Got it, Zephy, okay. This is not gonna be good. Oh, who got healed? Oh, that...
You know what we should do is cast float. In theory, I feel like Pokemon rules, Pokemon rules say that that should make me dodge Earthquake. Just saying. No need to confirm. I'm just theorizing. Okay, what if I go this... Wait, that's the way I did go. What if I put a stone in the thing first? Let's try that. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> just a theory. Game theory. Always be theorizing. So true. So true, Janji. Okay, and the blue one was over here. Somewhere. Oglops are so cute when you follow them. Maybe this way? No, it's okay though. Wait, there's another hole? Okay. Let's go get the blue. Jessica, thank you. Always appreciated. <laughs> How's it going? How was your weekend? Not long enough. I hear that. I think there was another stone. Yeah, up there. I think that's the red I already took, maybe, actually. You can catch them? Oh, these have descriptions. Blue water flows with time. It streams and sings as it travels into the ocean. David Heavenguard. Where's my Oglop? Unclear. Guac! <laughs> like a Pokemon, kinda. Hi, Bard. Welcome back. Oops. Sometimes she shoves her head into the blanket so far, I, I worry she's she can't breathe in there. Okay. I don't know what's up with that thing. Hello, lads. These blue guys, am I right? Who cast that right off the bat? Goodness gracious.
I like that the game is like, have two healers so you won't die. <clears throat> and I always think, okay, bet. Ooh, either they did a 14, F a 14 Secret Labs chair. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can cast float before the fight. All right, I'm gonna save again before. Let's save, Koopa. One of the items that can be stolen of the fairy flute is a good weapon, but the steal rate is so low that you could lose hours. It's not worth your time. Huge. I'll give it a, a couple tries, but thank you. Thank you for letting me know. You know how I am. <laughs> I appreciate it. The lumbar pillow is a cute chocobo that's a character in 14. Does don't say that. Dust, don't say that. Did I? Okay, we did that. Um, I think it was this way. I know that once you set your mind to it, we could be fighting Millennia for three weeks, and that did happen. At level one. At level one. But yes, you're right. Okay. Ooh, okay, so here's float and we can't do it outside of battle, but that's okay. And I won! That's right. Good 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 point there. Hi Smet Mar! Happy Monday. It nearly killed your heart and it made money off of it, but you won. True. What did my heart rate reach? Like 170 or something? 170 something? More like level one. It was 185. That's crazy, actually. That's like that's wild. Isn't there a Kingdom Hearts song about Sanctuary? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, seven for the Kingdom Hearts fans day. We were talking about that earlier, Jess, yeah. But it's good that they just said that, you know? I'm glad that they just were clear. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, that song. What the? Any ogres? What are you doing in my swamp? Oh, really, Boots? They just said no Kingdom Hearts 4 at um, Summer Games Fest, I think, though. Right? I had to log off for a bit when I started to see a frame-by-frame -frame analysis about how he was lying. No way. <laughs> Knockdown. Don't punch her! She doesn't have flow right now. I honestly could give her flow, that'd probably be smart. Yes! It hit! Vivi, you legend! Look at dagger floating. Oh, it's a little flute. Okay, so that we still up in for her. Fist! I love the fist attack. It's so funny. Floating moment. 170. Okay. I was guessing. Look at her little wings. Who are you knocking down? No, no, no. Dust, please. Oh, so, okay. So I should give somebody else the float spell because that, yeah. Oh my God, dude.
We all float down here. I wish I could scan him. It didn't work last time. I'm gonna try again. Nice. Okay, fine. Guess we could try Fyra. Oh. Wait, did it work? Did it miss? I didn't, I didn't pay attention. Okay, that did the same. Oh shit. Wait, why? Oh my god, they're trancing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stellar Circle 5. Let's go! Come on, big damage, big damage, no whammies. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm gonna res. I'm gonna res Ico. I just wanna make sure we don't get one shot it again. Oh, I didn't even see this. Solution nine. Oh, I should have recast slow. Solution nine. Let's go, let's go. I wonder how much damage that did. Do the double trance, come on. First try. <laughs> oh, it was 4160, I missed it. Annoy and insomniac. Sorry, Iko. Monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Aiko. Tee hee, thanks. Hey, how come you can summon Adalons, Aiko? I thought you could too, Dagger. Well, not usually. Hey, have you always been able to do that? Of course, my grandpa and everyone else did it all the time. What do you mean? Hey, that's not the way to my house. That's the way to the life of tree. This way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. The light, is it? Is that an L or an I? Is it the Ifa, Ifa tree or the Lifa tree? An L? It's an I? Ligma tree. Maybe like Ifa? I don't know for the life of me. Cambo. Cambo. <laughs> yeah, Ifa, I think makes sense. The Ifa tree? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the, the Ifa tree. The Ifa tree. Let's go. Ifa tree. <laughs> Tifa tree. Huge. It is nice to have two healers. Eva tree, okay, okay. Thanks, Jess. 
I won't fall for a mind goblin D's nuts joke. I won't. I'm friends with Nandre. I've been primed for this. <laughs> Evangelion reference. Eva tree. <laughs> Unit one. Well, I want to go put this stone in the thing. Jake, 45 months. Wait. Oh, that's the way to the tree. Don't mind me. Just gonna sneak on in and I don't know. this. All right, button. I guess we also happy 45 months, Jess. I'm so happy to have been a part of this community and Jake, your friend Ditto, for so thanks for the resub. Now. It's so good to love. see you. Hope you're doing good. Get in the tree, Shinji. <laughs> God, it's Antari. Okay, cool. Thanks for the for the intel for the deets. Ifa and Eco. Yeah, that's just how it goes with these older games, I guess. Greenstone Emerald reference? Yo. Holy moly, we got a lot to explore. I'll <laughs> do commercial. Hi, Retro. Welcome back. Um, many different ways, Retro. There's TikTok, there's Twitter, there's Summer Games Fest, there's TV, there's movies. I think there's many ways. <laughs> Send me around. I love this song. Zidane! This is my home. Madane Sari. You live here? It's a pile of rubble. Music. Hi, wallet. Dagger? What happened here? This place is in ruins. Filled with all summoners! Dude, we're... <laughs> I was just gonna say we're about to get some lore and then Moogles appeared, so I'm in heaven. <laughs> Koopo. Why can't they just leave all the games unadvertised? Because they need to make money, Retro. They need to make money. They are a capitalist company. They need to sell their games. But I'm sorry. <laughs> Ads are annoying. Why bother making them? Because for reasons I just said, you know, it's okay. Calm down. No need for the caps lock, Retro. Maybe try thinking about it from a different perspective. If you make a game, you want people to play it. Even aside from just the money. I follow to a channel that just plays old school video game ads and Tsunami Adult Swim shows. It's the best. I love that. I think I've seen that on YouTube, actually, Janitor. Momo. There's more. Kupo Kupo. Momatos Morrison. Where's Mog? No. Mog got eaten? Mog! There's Mog. I like that it's like a shiny Moogle. <laughs> 
Oh, and he's a little, he's a little chunky and fluffy. I love him. Koopo, Koopo? No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Koopo, Koopo. Zidane, follow me! This is amazing. Look at them, look at them all. All shapes and sizes, what did she say? Mog, you stay here with me. Koopo. Okay, come on. Koopo. <laughs> Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Yep, Mog always stays with me. Koopo. <laughs> this is the best ever. That's my dream. I want a Moogle in my dress at all times. Retro, no. Don't post links in my chat, please. And don't. I love Final Fantasy X, but they, they don't need you to advertise it. Are they paying you, Retro? Also, did you repost that? Don't repost messages. Don't do that. Where can I advertise? You're making a game retro? You're making one? Yourself? No, I am not. Oh. Why do you wanna, why? Why do you want to advertise FF10? I just wanna know why. To let more people know about the game. Okay. Hi, Dutch Master. I'm just curious. Is that your favorite Final Fantasy? You're against ads? Them or me? I guess, yeah, they don't like ads. Retro, yeah, I thought you didn't like ads. Have you changed your tune? Titus is a pretty cool guy. You did change your tune. What made you, what made you change? Was it my explanation of advertisements? He blitzes his balls. Chat, is this real? I'm scared. It's okay. I'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. Don't be afraid. Who's everybody's favorite character from um, Final Fantasy X? I like Riku. Rat, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a bot. I don't think it's a bot. Are you kidding? Because it could, it's almost plausible. It's almost plausible. Aram does rule. That one kid that says when I grew up, I want to be a blitz ball. Yeah, Blue, I have the same opinion as you. Also have plateaus. Okay, let's play the game. Zidane, come sit over here. Hey, tell me more about yourself. Tell me. Sure, I want to know more about. Him. I don't want. <laughs> I can't speak. Sure, I want to know more about you too, Iko. Really? Oh, she's so cute. For instance, the Adalon. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No, no, no. What I want to know is. What kind of foods do you like? What kind of analogs do you like? What type of moogles do you like? What type of girls do you like? <laughs> I've never met anyone like you before. Dagger? What's wrong? You look dazed. 
Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Oh, ah, you're fine. Hey, are you jealous? <laughs> Why would I be jealous? Are you and Dagger really just friends? <laughs> Seems like you guys are something more. Well, yeah, we're more than friends. So what are you guys? <laughs> I go set to find the relationship now. Guys, Pog. We're a team. A team. Yeah. Vivi's also a part of the team. Hey, where did he go? Is it sort of like me and the Moogles? Something like that. All clean, Koopa. Thanks, Mocha. I'll be right there. go start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? Dude, this six-year-old girl who lives in these ruins with a bunch of moogles. Like, what? I'm so curious. There has to be a sad story that goes with this. I know there is, but I, on the surface, I love it. Does FF10 PC support ultra-wide? A good question for Google. <laughs> <laughs> this is a goofy game full of silly little guys true there's still stuff I want to ask her let's accept her invitation okay Actually, more, it's more like okay the controller's doing the thing again I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. Phoebe's feelings. <laughs> Jess. <laughs> Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and die. Where do we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If, that would, if, if that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I... Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? I just... <laughs> I'm just having a nice time with my little moogles. <laughs> I knew... I knew... I knew it was too good to be true. What is it that I'm feeling? That hurts. I love Vivi. I like, I wish he had somebody to talk to more deeply about this stuff. He's always by himself, like pontificating about existentialism. I don't know. Vivi out here is a Mets fan. <laughs> On release, Nine did get, get some flack about the um, being chibi style and childish, and then in game, Vivi's like, What is the meaning of life? Am I going to die? It got flack for that. Because I feel like that's such a. Like. For me, that's a reason that it's so. Powerful. Is like the mixture of those two things. The character helped me get rid of my fear of death as a kid. I had to make it chibi, otherwise it'd be too depressing. Just so true. Oh. 
of zero. A lot of people get into the franchise with the cyberpunk aspect of seven, sci-fi elements of eight, and then this came along and new people were thrown for a loop. Do you guys feel like this, for like the long-term fans, do you think that this game like kind of saved Final Fantasy or brought people back, or was it the opposite? definitely helped it turned a lot of people away this one was more of a love letter okay like back to basics absolutely brought me back after the clusterfuck of eight i think it satiated a lot of people that were upset about what eight was that didn't take her a big deal this came out at peak of ff popularity okay it was something different in a good way it makes me sad when people left because of left, left the fandom because of 13 because I really love 13. What up McPooter2010? I love your username. Started with 7 then 8 then started 9. I was I thought I wasn't going to like it with how different it was but I ended up loving it. Bard, I was already thinking today that I want a tattoo of Vivi. Like, already. And I, I don't even know what's up yet. <laughs> I know a little bit of what's up. Yeah, 13 is one with lightning. He's described 9 as his magnum opus. Yeah, Smetmar for sure. I've been thinking a lot about... I haven't played 8, but with 7... A lot of the story is about how... Cloud is cloud and very introverted and like he's quiet and he's brooding and he has a lot going on in his head to say the least and how a lot of the like characters as a whole in seven are used as plot devices to g kind of better understand cloud and like understand what he's going through and that story arc with Sephiroth it's kind of like the, the the world going inward with with Cloud, but I think the reason why Nine is resonating so well with me is because Zidane is such an opposite of Cloud. Like Zidane actively does the opposite. It's like Zidane goes this way and like wants to learn about the world around him and like not even wants to learn about the world around him, just the way he interacts with the world. We end up learning more about it and like. It feels so much more colorful, and that's why I think the world building is, is one of the reasons why the world building is good. And I don't think one is better than the other, for the record. I think they just tell different stories in different ways. I wonder if they would keep the chibi style or change it. They would have to change it, I think. But I don't think it would look like 7 Remake. I love how Nine handles the dynamic of the whole party. A lot of other FF games feel like one character's story specifically, which isn't a bad thing, but it's nice to have a fully immersed group. I agree. I'm making a note. It's okay for things to be good and different without one being objectively better than the other. I agree wholeheartedly. High Enigma, unique in their own rights. There was a fan-made tech demo released of a while um, of what a 9 remake could look like and they nailed the art style. That's cool. I would be curious to see that. I'm, ha I'm happy with modern FF. They're not opposed to taking giant risks and every um, release keeps it interesting. That's good perspective. Hi, Prada Nova. Memorial Project is beautiful. You should watch the video. Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't know if I should watch it yet. Maybe I don't know if I'll have spoilers or not. I didn't realize it was not well received until recently. I loved it when it came out. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really super aware of like Final Fantasy until 10 2. 
Oh, cool. We can totally watch it. Maybe at the end of stream. Today. What up, Levixis? Each FF story is telling a different story. That's one of the things I appreciate about them. I agree. All the main FF games have nothing to do with each other and have different creative teams. So I view it each, each as its own series. Yeah. Zelveris, I think you're totally spot on there. What's this about eyelashes? I'm so curious. I got to play eight. I'm excited to play eight. Eight was only really a letdown in comparison to the seven hype. Seven sold a shit ton of consoles by itself. I mean, seven's a hard game to follow up, right? Anthology series, yeah. I personally like the idea of how every new numbered FF game being vastly different from the one before it. There are all kinds of different flavors to try. I agree. I agree. Guys, Final Fantasy, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty sick. Hi, Dallas Zone. Which, which one is that? The Final Fantasy movie? Quina, I like flavor. <laughs> Eight is loved or hated. Oh, eight was graphically advanced for its time. Yeah, it's on like you should. Humble, what up? A year! A year, Humble! Thanks for the resub. Hello, and thank you. No. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. Yeah, Gregor, I remember, we, didn't we watch it the other day and I was like, I gotta play this. Never played 13, but I love each installment for different reasons. Yeah, I haven't, I've, I've only played 10 and 10 too, but as a kid, so I don't really like fully grasp them. 13, but like as a tween, so I didn't really fully grasp it. Or I, I've forgotten it if I did. Uh, and then I played seven and all the spinoffs. So I've got plenty to dive into on stream. Eight's a really great play now that it's far removed from following up FF7. 12 is amazing too. Firmly grasp it. What up, shoddy? Are you gonna play six? I would love to play six. Yes, I would stream six. Kingdom Hearts is basically an FF game. That's true, I've played Kingdom Hearts. Not all of them, but a good amount. Also worth a note that at the time the dev cycles were so much shorter, so we're getting a new FF, uh, we were getting new FF games regularly. That's so true. They had like a year and change to make these, right? Ten was mind blowing when it came out. Voice acting Final Fantasy was nuts at that time. Th something that kind of bugs me about Ten is like when they talk about how the remastered faces look and how like the original faces were m much more expressive. Eight, nine, ten were nine and nine, two thousand, two thousand one. That's bonkers, dude. Eight has a great story and most of the cast is likable. They've just made some questionable design sources, uh, choices from a gameplay standpoint. Five and six. Eight has some of the most complex and realistically characterized teens in a JRPG. That's that's saying a lot. Ash talked about that. Cause Ash loves 10, right? That's her, is that the one she is loves so much? You know, it's, it's been a fun stream when google.com is pinned. <laughs> it's very true. Eight's gameplay is fine. People hate menus. A friend showed me Kingdom Hearts and I lost interest in eight even faster. <laughs> the intro is great. We'll give it my ultimate words due. Is that is this why Nintendo felt pressure to get Majora's Mask out so fast? I wonder. I don't know. All right, should we continue? I love I love this conversation for the record. I don't know what Spirits Within is. I'm a little tired. I think she, I wonder if she's worried about like the whole summoner thing and like she's confused about her heritage and like why she can summon and like why Aiko can summon. Probably I'm guessing. I see that chest right there. That's my guess. Don't answer. Is this a standalone movie you don't need to know? Should I, should I react to it on TikTok? Is it bad and I could react to it? We could do it like we did before. Only if you're drunk. Jess, do you know the video I'm posting tomorrow? Have you heard? Have you heard me talk about it? Uh. 
Uh, it didn't have anything to do with Final Fantasy. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, yeah, that's just I'm, that made me think of that. I'm glad. I'm glad that you are excited. I'm really excited for it. I'm excited to post it. I'm excited to post a video that like is a totally standalone thing that I didn't do on stream at all. You like Spirits Within? It's worth a watch. We could do it the same way we did Advent Children, where I stream it for y'all in Discord. And at the same time, I'm reacting to it. Um, and recording my reaction, and then I post it all on TikTok. Because really, it's like, it's very hard to do that and post it to YouTube. You have to, like, heavily edit it and cut stuff out. And TikTok, you can just raw dog post it. Godzilla minus one, Greg? It's on Netflix now, right? It's so good. If you do that, rentals are right off. True does. Very true. Okay, this is awesome. I'm glad. This is going to be fun. We'll see. I don't know if I, I'll do it when, when I'm in LA, but... I'll have to see. Maybe, when, maybe we can plan that for when I get back. I'm inclined to do TikTok stuff sooner rather than later, because who knows how long it'll last. Stellatio. The tree nurtures all. It protects and gives birth to life. Let us pray to it every day. Yellow earth is sometimes harsh, sometimes gentle. Travel the earth to see its heart. Libra was a perverse fellow. He would always walk in the opposite direction of the sun. Would he ever see Virgo? Wait, Alec Ball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, what is this? This is the most 2001 poster I've seen in my life. Dr. Sid is Donald, Donald Sutherland, Alec Baldwin, Steve Buscemi, James Woods, Perry Gilpin, Ming-Na Wen, Matt McKenzie, Matt Adler, Keith David. I'm so curious. Yeah, Dr. D, I think I'm gonna, dude, what? This looks so weird. It's like, it's so 2001. Humble, thanks for gifting us up to Levixis. Thank you, dude. I think I have to, I think I simply have to react to it on TikTok now. I'm incredibly curious. You have to understand this was made in premiere during a time when video game movies sucked. Like it was the time when, no what's that? What, Uwe Ball movies? What's that? This is what you miss by being cool and playing sports and not being a fucking loser like the rest of us in the early 2000s. Jess, Jess? I was playing World of Warcraft, thank you very much. I just wasn't playing Final Fantasies. I wasn't playing JRPGs. And also I was playing sports. But also I was a Night, of, night Elf Hunter all the time. My bad, sorry, I forgot to get advertised when I came here. I was studying the blade. This world of Warcraft's <laughs> part of <laughs> Nearly every jock I know is a total gamer weeb. That's me. Like Mr. T, exactly. Wow, remember those commercials? Your positivity overloaded my internet. I had to restart everything. A terrible director with a terrible reputation. Yeah, th those commercials ruled, frankly. Krabs McKenzie. <laughs> that elf mohawk. Dude, that is like such a time capsule. He made a lot of movies alone in the dark and then, uh, he made 
movies of Alone in the Dark and Doom. When I read that, I thought you were just saying he made his movies while sitting alone in the dark. <laughs> he probably did. He's a terrible person. <laughs> And Blood Rain and Far Cry. I went to a football high school and they were not undercover nerds. Every every jock, for the most part, that I've met, they were not my people. So much of my life have, was like, all my sports friends like didn't understand me because I liked anime and video games. And then all my like nerd friends didn't understand me because I played sports. I never found people that were like really many people until now. Chat, you understand me. <laughs> Twitch really does help for that, I will say. Look at us now. <laughs> Look at us now. Imagine liking two things at once, inconceivable. What'd you say? I said, Look at us. <laughs> Look at us now. The age of Aquarius, Gen Aquarius. <laughs> oh, want to chat to look at us now, one. <sighs> look at me now. Wow, that's also a song from that era. Who is Low Tax? I don't know who that is. I played sports and played video games a ton. I love that Mobius. We do exist. Like me and my brother were both jocks that played games. Um, my brother still plays classic WoW. I don't know. We definitely like exist. But the circles that I ran in were not, they were not nerds, not nerd jocks. Looks like Give subs or back on the menu, boy. I did outside stuff also in the long, long ago. Hi, Shane. Gamer jocks rise. There are a lot of jocks who play games. It just tends to be mad in F NFL. That's true. I, w I almost wouldn't classify that the same way. I feel like sports video games, like, yes, they're video games. Yes, you're a gamer. But like, I don't feel like I vibe with you if you're a Madden gamer only, you know what I mean? And same with the COD gamers, I would agree. I wouldn't even go so far as to say they weren't real gamers. Like, I think that that is a very real category of gaming. Um, I would not go that far at all. I don't want to discriminate even against the Madden <laughs> players. They're just not on my same wavelength of games. Pieces, thanks for 14 months. It's a different scene, exactly, Dr. D. <laughs> D Pace, don't put don't do that to me. Hello. Pieces, thank you so much. Did I get invited to the Call of Duty Xbox event? Yes. Do I play Call of Duty? I did I did as a youth. I used to play zombies and I used to do the multiplayer, Modern Warfare 2. But not no longer. We don't gatekeep bad and cod gamers. We, uh, unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> what if I told you there's a square approved CGI image of spirits within protagonist in a bikini that was featured in the Maxim 100 back in 2001? You would blow my mind, Boots, and you have. I love when, like, anime women, <laughs> like, trickle into the real world. Like, when they had the lightning um, Louis Vuitton ads. That shit was amazing. I loved that. I love when anime women, full stop. <laughs> there was an FF9 Coke ad? No way. <laughs> the God influencer. I worked at the micro center where low tax bought his PC parts back in the day. And the dude was weird. I don't know who that is. Did somebody say who that, who is that? Is he just like an old gamer, streamer, creator? 
It's internet lore. Is this gonna have spoilers? Oh, it was a 4chan guy. No spoilers, thanks for watching, Vanessa. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, you guys can't hear, okay now. I can still hear it. Why can I, oh, I know why. It, it looks, it's like straight out of the game. Fascinating. It's cool. It doesn't make me all touchy feely. But it's cool. Kuja Cola. You've been there? To uh, Alexandria? <laughs> Hi, Dissel, Dissel. Big fan of get, getting touchy feely. Vanessa, after last night. To autograph? We have plenty of Yakuza fans here, Flop, yes. <laughs> Steiner would be a LaCroix guy. The fact that is, that is so true. That is so true. I heard the call of Yakuza. I remember something, uh, there's something awful for him is because there was a thread of Danganronpa playthrough before the games ever came out in the US. Huh. Drinking an orange LaCroix as we speak, huge. I feel like Zidane would be a Mountain Dew kid. Zidane would be a Mountain Dew kid. Yeah, guys, trust me. Gamer nerds exist. You just gotta find them. And many of us hide our identities because we've been shamed. Can I eat a piece of Chuckograph piece? It sounds, <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you sure you don't want to eat the Koopo nut? KFC is huge in Japan specifically for Christmas. There's a Japan event where only the Colonel is an NPC. Wait, really? I did know it was big in Japan, but that's really awesome. You don't want the Koopo Nut? All right, more for me. <laughs> Goose. The nut smells good. I witnessed a Moogle eat a Koopo Nut, and um, I said this at the time, but it's very much like when you know, a mother sees her child get trapped under uh, under a car or like a big tree, and she she gets this rush of superhuman strength and is able to lift an entire car. That's like what the Kupunat did to the Moogle. It's actually pronounced Jamer. Many of us hide our identities, says the woman in a Ray Ayanami shirt and Moogle ears. This is my safe space! I've created this after years of being forced into hiding. <laughs> I really am, I really am gamering right now, aren't I? <laughs> uh, Jamer? Um, sorry that I'm a Jamer. Hi, Dale. <laughs> Koopo crack, but Vivi said something about Koopo not smelling good. I kid because I love Jamers. There's a Mountain Dew event going on in 14. Yes, Greg, because I saw there was like a tote bag or something with green Mountain Dew Moogles. <laughs> Which is just the best thing ever. Mountain Dewgles. Scouts were that's true. Amongst other things. Mountain Dewgles, exactly, Lemon. Is Jamers the same way you pronounce Jif? Do you guys say Jif or Gif? Or both? <laughs> what a time to be alive, Jess. You say both? I say both. Hard G, Gif, 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 Gif. Okay, so you all, so you all say Gif. This is just, this is gonna be like 
um, Reese's Pieces for me. Where I'm going to start saying Jif to piss you guys off. Because what, what would you guys call... Um, hold on. What would you guys call this candy? Oh, wait. I don't want to go to Amazon. Stop. What would you guys call this? A Reese's PC, right? Reese's PCs. I see some of y'all are on my side, and this is good. Let us grow our empire of Reese's PCs. Just, there's nothing to fall for. Just join us. There's simply nothing there, there there's something nothing to fall for. Rebirth patch just dropped. Oh, it's bugs that aren't very major. Okay, Janitor, good to know. Thanks for the intel. I always wanna know if there's patches like that. I'm always, cause sometimes there's good content in it. Like when they patched the skyline in Remake. It stands for graphic interchange format, not uh, giraffics interchange format. Yeah, but some a lot of the time, um, a lot of the time, acronyms are pronounced differently than the words that make them up. In my experience, I can't support this blasphemy. What else would you call these? People who are wrong called them Reese's pieces, but that's incorrect. Hello, intense release. Welcome. I know it's not correct, but it's the sillier, more fun way to say it. Have fun, people. Now, what would you call one of one of these? I would call it a Reese's PC. <laughs> and you know what PC stands for? Right, chat? Peach Cobbler. <laughs> We've come full circle, to say the least. I never miss a cobbler reference. We've come full circle and got dizzy. <laughs> Probably on board. Yes! Join us! Really went off the rails. Listen, sometimes you have a stream like this. Sometimes you stay up till 4 a.m. multiple nights in a row working on a YouTube video. And you don't nap during the day. And you go off the rails playing Final Fantasy IX talking about Reese's Pieces. That's just what happens. I have to ask, is water wet? I, ta I think about this all the time. Um, because it wasn't a bad thing to be certain. I'm glad to hear it. Water, one water molecule, just one H2O. One H2O is not wet. But if, 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 if to be wet is to have a water molecule adhering to you, then mult then like if you have a cup of water, the water inside the cup is wet because they're sticking to each other via hydrogen bonding. So in that case, if there's two H2O molecules and they're both experiencing hydrogen bonding, they are wet. Bam science, exactly. Has anybody ever watched Dr. Stone? Cause that was that he would, he would explain it in that way. Guys, I've met Bill Nye, he was on our podcast. He was very businesslike and not very personable, but he's just getting the job done. You hate the art, si art style of Dr. Stone? It's not for everyone. I'm having a good time with it. One in chat if you're experiencing hydrogen bonding. Run, Cloud, run away. You have to leave. You have to have Peach Cobbler. He takes science very seriously. He does. One billion percent. Did Sephiroth make this peach cobbler? Hi, Trooper. Thanks for feeding Mo. I hate water fish pee in it. Roroni, that's fair. I think a lot of a lot of beings pee in it. Lemon, it's a little fan servicey. <laughs> but I like fish pee. I had to explain molecule bonding bonding with a coworker because they were like, this dry mop will soak better, and I was like, no! I'm glad you could explain, Boots. But only the business guy, yeah. Guys, I'm about to drink this fish's house. <clears throat> so 
Started with FF9, then somewhere past Alec Baldwin and Cook, we ended up at Reese's Pieces and Hydrogen Bonding. This chat is great. <laughs> you get us, McPooter. You get us. That's the perfect description. You forgot the peach cobbler, though. You almost drowned in the ocean one time. One time I um was almost in the water with a bunch of bull sharks in Florida during a migration year. So I'd like to say that I'm a shark attack survivor, but you know, who's, who's really to say? <laughs> Sharks with horns. It was actually scary. It was. We could see them all calling us in. Like there was the lifeguards on the ATVs calling everybody in. We were like, okay, whatever. We get in and then like we see like the, I think there were two, like a 10 foot and a 12 foot bull shark. You could see right before the waves would break. You could see like the big, like the Animal Crossing style shadow. Literally that's what it was like. And we were like, oh shit. Well, glad we came in. A sweet life experience? Oh, a sweet life experience. I thought you were talking about Zach and Cody for a second. Trumpeter tuba, French horn. Oh, the shark with the horn. Why didn't you fight the shark? I didn't know it was there until I got back in. Prindle. Euphonium. Zach and Cody's The Sweet Life. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm honestly impressed we were able to successfully distract Jess from a pack of moogles. That's so true. That, it, that really is the real accomplishment of this stream. I'm proud of you guys. Did you forget your bat shark? Re bat shark? It's not too late to fight the shark. <laughs> Hop on Splunky. Don, I'm thinking about streaming it on Wednesday, straight up. <laughs> I literally installed it last night. Because I'm thinking about it. I might. I very well might. Do we have any uh, Spelunky 2 enjoyers in this chat room? John G, thanks for feeding the mods. I love watching people learn that game. It's like my favorite thing. That's how I feel about a lot of like Final Fantasy and so I don't know. It's just cool to see people experience stuff that you love, especially when there's like a kind of like a high skill ceiling or like there's a lot to learn. So I get it. And not like roguelikes. Greg likes it. Jack Buck definitely failed at showing how dangerous sharks are. I was watching a video on Sweet Life the other day and I totally forgot they had a secret handshake during the first season. They had a secret handshake. Don, I was thinking about it because I heard there's a cloud skin. <laughs> um, are they on like Nexus mods and stuff? I haven't played only because I don't want to lose all my free time and get fired from my job. Fair, Jess. It has its own site and launcher. Okay, that honestly, it sounds easier. First time my dog visited the beach was at 2 a.m. in Virginia Beach. He had so much fun, no sharks, only vibes. Yeah. We go to the beach here in Chicago and that is ideal because there are definitely no sharks in Lake Michigan. Although bull sharks have swam up the Mississippi River, so. Oh my God. Oh. Aw, wait, it's so cute. Look at him! He's just a little guy! And there's a buster sword! There's a buster sword! That's so cute. Shut the ghosts. Chocobos, he has chocobos when he gets stunned! This is the cutest thing I've seen. Materia on the ropes. There's materia on the ropes. This is per I wonder if there's other Final Fantasy mods. There's so much ad attention to detail. I'm in. Guys, what if we just admit defeat in FF9 tonight and play Spelunky? <laughs> I bit nothing.
I woke up defeated. The problem is we're not at a save point right now. Peach Cobbler is the mind killer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I don't have mods installed. I guess. I've literally never booted up the game. So. Peach Chan Al Gaib. Yakuza live action. Your nemesis at work got promoted above you. That's terrible, F Zero. I'm so sorry. All right, let's play at least a little more and see how. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks, Dad. Peach Monty. <laughs> My other thought process is I'm so sleep deprived right now that I don't think I'll make it for a late stream anyway. And if we're having this mischievous energy. <laughs> Or I'm not super focused on the game. We could also just try Spelunky. <laughs> I'm feeling a little mischievous. <laughs> it's deeply funny how casually you just said thanks, Dad. That's his name! That's his name! I'm a little tired. Dagger's feelings. <laughs> I'm dead. A village of summoners. Yeah, I knew she was freaking out about this. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth Adelons. Adelons? Knowing that I had Adelons inside me didn't bring me any joy. I'd like an Adelon and... Uh, never mind. Mother imprisoned me, used the Adelons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill my Adelons if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? Because you're in the village of summoners. It must... There you go. It must be the location. This place feels familiar to me somehow. I wonder if she's not even the queen's daughter. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Yo, what up? This is a restricted area. Restricted? What's that then? Kubo? Queen spotted. Zidane, this place only rocks and sand. Is my controller doing the thing again? I love burping girl. Guys, there is so many burps in my video tomorrow. You guys, when, when it comes out and you, if you wanna leave a comment, that should be the comment that you leave. I love birthday <laughs> That chatter hasn't been back yet. I miss them. I eat star sand once, but sand here not food. But Quina, sand is food. Perfect cook, indeed. <laughs> Water look clean. Hey, don't take it so hard. They're a special case. <laughs> Restricted access, Kupo. <laughs> I'm glad Burke Roll has persisted. I don't really, I used to apologize for burping so much. And not, now I just ride with it and it's great. I do love Queena. Jeez, what a dump. It must've been like that for at least 10 years. What can Iko possibly feed us? Iko's feelings. Thanks for cleaning. You guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my hero, Zidane. Okay, so she is crushing on Zidane. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Zidane and Dagger are dating yet. Dagger's been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. <laughs> I'm going to cook lots of yummy food and show Zidane what a good homemaker I am. 
Cool ball, it might work if you cook good food. But Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know. That's why I can't screw up. You're all going to help me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Koopo po. Koopo. I'm sleepy. You're all going to help. I'm going to cook my specialty. Rock fisted potato stew. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted bad. I thought my pom-pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Kupo, how about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. <laughs> what is one of these images? Hi, Bitta. Also, hi, Tortolol. <laughs> Look at this fish. That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Let's see. Who should fishing? Um Momatos. I like that it rhymes with comatose. Go Momatos! Kupo. Who should dig up potatoes? Chimomo. Go, Chimomo! Kupo. Mocha, you help me in the kitchen. Kupo. Chat, does this matter? Can I fuck this up? Any knowers? Game ending. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. I'm gonna download the Spelunky mod loader. I never know how to download things from GitHub. Like, where is the download button, dude? Oh, there it is. Okay. If you mess up, then Dagger divorces the Dan and marries Iko. <laughs> It matters a little. It does. It matters. It di dictates how well you cobble the peach. Okay, can you guys backseat me? Yeah, I would like the list, please. Okay, so I almost had it right. I would have thought for sure Momotos would fall asleep fishing. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who should go fishing? Momotos. Thank you, Vanessa. Potatoes is Mocha. And Chimomo is in the kitchen. Okay. Let's start. Is there a mini game? I will shit. Grandpa. I don't want to be alone anymore. See, I knew there was going to be sadness amidst the Moogles. Help me do this right. That Moogle was vibrating. Is this where I came from? I feel, sh I feel so anxious. Okay, so in theory... Oh, where are you going, Zidane? I'm going to take a look around. Be careful. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, in theory, could save out here if I wanted to go play Spelunky, but I I don't think I'm... I think I want to... I should probably finish this section, right? It seems weird to split it up. <laughs> have you seen Zack in his monster outfit? I have. It's very nice. Okay. 
Vivi? What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was, I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay, thanks, Zidane. Dude, Vivi is going through it. I'm gonna stay here and think about it. Overthinkers be like... <laughs> Poor Vivi, dude. Kupo, please wait. Thank you for waiting. Lady Aiko says the food will be ready soon. I'll take you to the Adelon wall in the meantime. Please follow me. Okay. Kupo! Kupo, Kupo, Kupo! <laughs> he got mad at me. Aiko's kitchen. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zidane. <laughs> There's that quiet boy, Vivi. I guess I should cook for Dagger, too. And all you guys. Mog, Moko, Mocha. <laughs> Mog, Moko, Mocha. <laughs> it's hard to say. Mog, Moko, Mocha, Chimoma, Momo, Tosin, Morrison. Will you put water on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Koopo. Dude, what? Sure, Vanessa, yeah, I might as well. I mean... 11, no, let Chimomo cook. Let Chimomo cook. 11 people, Koopo. 10, Vanessa said 11 though. Is it for sure 11? Yeah, it's 11. Hashtag let Shimomo cook. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb. Lots and lots of nuts. Oh, so I should not put the aglop. Number two is no. Thanks. Let's start. Get the water going, a good shake of salt. Bunny, thanks for seven months. Thank you, thank you, Koopo. Delivering some subscription cash money from the What bunny up, Bunny? Koopa. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. Lots and lots of nuts. I caught one, Koopo. It's heavy, Koopo. Oh my god, is it gonna be is it gonna Is it gonna be Queena? Let Chimomo cook! Keep stirring, Chimomo. Don't let it burn. This is big. We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, two, three. It is Queena. <laughs> ah! <laughs> let them cook. Okay, they want me to go this way. Oh. Oh! Moko was very proud of his role as the Adelon wall guard. Aiko's decision to show the Adelon wall to, outs to outsiders upset him. But we Moogles love Aiko. He'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Adelon wall has been protected by Aiko's summoner tribe for generations. Summoner tribe? I'm gonna get Dagger. She can use summon magic. Is that true? Yeah. Ludwig spotted, what do you mean? Sounds good, Boots, see you later. I love burping, girl. <laughs> hey, Dagger, come with me. I'll show you something big, summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Adelon Wall. Let them cook. Please come in. The Adelon wall is this way. Dude, this is this is kind of rebirthy. The Adelon wall is a collection of paintings. The Summoner tribe painted all the Adelons they found during their research. 
These Adelons all exist? Koopo. <laughs> Koopo. This is a holy place for the Summoner tribe. Lady Aiko comes here every day to pray and burn incest for her ancestors. What's this one? There's Atomos. That's Bahamut. This is cool. This is lore. What's wrong, Dagger? I... You'll get it back. She's sad that she lost the summoning abilities. Hi, Damien. I want to look at these murals some more. Okay. I don't know most of these Adelons. The Summoner tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. They consider the Adelons guardians of the planet. Dude, seven vibes. I guess it's Final Fantasy vibes, but it makes me think of Cosmo Canyon and stuff. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 500 years ago, but now, now there's no one here. If any of my coworkers say Koopa, I'll lose my shit. I honestly am gonna start, it's gonna start trickling into my conversation. The controller's being stinky. It's really a cord, I bet. Rather than, other than anything else. Queena, Queena knows how to cook, dude. Queena will save this. Your bait, not so good. Pale white hair, strange clothes. Zidane told me about you. You're cooch. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Zidane looked for a man named Kuja. I called Queena. Oh, you chased Mog on the Conde Petit mountain path. I might go. Mog, don't ever come out while they're around. Koopo. Smell good? <laughs> Don't eat anything. The heat too low. You can cook? Is my destiny to pursue way of gourmand. <laughs> I'm imagining Queen and Kuja's thong. That would be legendary. TSA security. Are you taking any of these items on the plane with you? Just Koopo. <laughs> Guys, I guess I have to bring my Moogle headband when I go to LA, don't I? What if we hit the sub goal when I'm streaming? Yes, I would love to work with you and be happy to advertise your product during my stream, Koopo. Yeah. <laughs> if it's Square Enix, it would be on brand. <laughs> okay, is, does this matter, Vanessa? Does Barry Bebop, help, Bar does Barry Bebop, Bebop have alternate headbands you could use for travel? I don't think they do. Maybe I should order one to their house. We gotta ask for advice. Th this must be a helper from above. Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. Is the Danes group the Moogles and me make 11 people? It's a good amount. This heat only strong enough to make food for nine people. Was well, not possible to make enough for everyone. No! I teach you very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Dude, Queena is actually so knowledgeable. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guest very hungry. You correct to make food for more than 10 people. Ah, I see. This your only ingredient for stew? Mocha went to dig up some rock-fisted potatoes. Is problem now with heat. How we get more heat? Hmm. Vivi, get Vivi. Ah, I know. I know Black Mage has to make fire! Yes! Yes! Okay, so they're still they're still in there. Aiko and her people protected the Adelon Wall for generations. We Moogles also help Aiko protect the wall. Don't mess it up! 
Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. Dude, something bad happened. Okay, Vivi's gonna think. Hoop up up! Wow, this looks great! Goop up up up! Welcome, Zidane. Have a seat. You made a lot. What's his name? Queena? They helped me. They helped you without eating all the food? Amazing! Vivi too? <laughs> Let's eat! Vivi helped! How is it? Wow, this suit tastes amazing. You should start a restaurant. The fish is just right. Hey, Aiko, where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding underground or something? Underground? Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with the Moogles ever since my grandpa died last year. I'm sorry, dude, that's... She's just a kid. She's six. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm really happy here, Koopo. Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born, a natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like, because they died when I was very young. I see. I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? <laughs> huh? You know why I'm here in this village? It was to meet you, Zidane, my beautiful shooting star. That's a line from Lord Avon's play, Wishing Upon a Star. How did you know? Darn it! <laughs> How does Aiko know about that play? This place is far from the Mist Continent. Yeah, that is weird. Thank you. Thanks, Aiko. That was really good. See? Don't you want to eat my food every day? <laughs> Look at her! Look how cute she is! She's so cute. Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? That's so rude of you. Zidane, help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. <laughs> She's so cute. Hi, Dylan. Guys, I gotta pee. I really gotta pee. But we'll finish out this bit, um, for sure. I won't, I won't end this prematurely to play Spelunky, I swear, but I, I maybe we'll end stream with Spelunky. Um... Hold on, I'm gonna go pee real quick. You guys pee if you gotta. Get a drink of water. <laughs> I'll be back.
Yo. Vanessa, thanks for raffling it up. I love that Google is still pinned. That's very funny to me. <clears throat> Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but peach cobbler. <laughs> I should, I could change butt spot to say peach cobbler instead of pog. Should I do that? That would be really funny actually. Time enough for you, perhaps. I wonder if it would break though. I don't think I can do two words actually now that I think about it. I wish I was sponsored by Google, damn, that would rule. Or I'd have it say guac, that's a really good idea. Dude, I hope Spelunky can use a PS5 controller because my Xbox controller cord is not, or that maybe, I don't know, the, maybe the cord is the problem. Or, There are so many old books here. I think this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. Can you believe this? This is the first edition. I've only ever seen one at the Castle Library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? <laughs> oh, there's two chests. Stew moment. So it wasn't just Dagger. Zidane is really slow, too. <laughs> Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. What are you talking about, child? Is there something on my face? <laughs> Thanks, Zidane. Could you leave it there? Hey, Aiko, do you know anything about the Aoife tree? <laughs> I want to call it the Aoife tree, but it's probably the Aoife tree. You only do one word, yeah. That makes sense. What about the Ifa tree? We want to go there. It's sealed with an Eidolon. You can't get an Oswift to fight a summon. Sealed? Did you seal it, Aiko? Well... So he's sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed an Eidolon that we failed to summon in the, in the Ifa tree. Ifa is what my brain says. It's our custom to seal a failed Eidolon where we summon it. An Eidolon you failed to summon. Aiko, will you break the seal for us? Whoa, what? No way! It's not like we're going to do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. No way, are you crazy? You won't do it? Okay, I like that they're rewarding me for spamming. <laughs> no. Herman coffee? Okay, I gotta give that to the guy uh, near Lindblom who loves coffee. Or no, Dolly? I think he's by Dolly, maybe. <gasps> that's the guy that I just said, that's the guy! That's the cool of the guy! Roasting coffee beans slowly enhances their rich flavor and aroma. Did you know that? More out of Dolly Village! Wow. Oh. I don't think there are any books on summoning. But Pitbull Village. Oops, I made that. This person keeps telling me to catch more fish, Koopo. Today, and I made great discovery. These fish different from Mist Continent fish. Catch another one! <laughs> That's very funny. Okay. Where'd Vivi go? Oh! Okay.
Mm-hmm. Vivi. My baby boy. You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. Dude, that's so real. Vivi is so real for that one. I know you told me not to think too much, but... That's because we're different, Vivi. You don't have to do everything my way, you know? I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. My poor baby. What if I keep feeling like this? Oh, this gives me a tummy ache. Vivi. Well, in the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do or you don't. You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. It's not fair. Porter Robinson quoted. But that's the way things are. The choice is yours. Zidane. I just want to protect the people I'm with. It doesn't matter whether I can or not. It's what I believe in. I knew it. I was right. Zidane is the man for me. <laughs> He's right. You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with Zane. You want to know a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come over here, Vivi. Let's, get, let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself go under the stars? What does this mean? <laughs> They're peeing together! Piss bros! I was like, let yourself go under the stars. What is that? What? Pee time. Piss time. <gasps> Damien, I feel this. I feel so protective over Vivi. Pissing with the boys. I've heard of Mario Bros, but this is ridiculous. You understand, Jessica? We deeds are only friends once we've pissed together. Shit. Um. <laughs> Folks who don't have penises, have you ever held a penis while the other person pees? Because I have. And it's awesome. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Ryan has been extremely, ex extremely drunk. Yeah, it's so, it's so much power. And can anybody match my freak type comment? And I love it. And I'm not gonna help him. Sometimes you gotta help a blacked out homie out. Yeah, that's de that's definitely what the circumstance was. That's definitely what. It, that's definitely that's that's definitely what happened for me. <laughs> Also, sometimes there's piss play. <laughs> I held my own when I had one and it didn't seem that wild. It's pretty animated. Well, when it's somebody else's is why it's exciting to me. Is this going to be a TikTok and a short? Okay, I'll press my clip button. I guess I should, I should clip it. It's definitely a unique sensation when it's not your own. Yeah. Couch co-op gaming is the closest we were to each other. Pissing is a private, private activity. I've held a garden hose while water came out. <laughs> well, the bros are pissing. Anyway, thanks for indulging me. Tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, 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 tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> Unholy, you've come to the right place, my friend. Honestly, 
stuff like this, it'll weed out the pe there are people that are meant to be here, you know? If this, if this kind of talk isn't for you, you know, that's okay. That's okay. I was like, I was the guy a drunk guy leaned on while I pissed on. If, if that counts, I didn't touch it. Mm. This concludes the Jess's piss talk for the night. Don't be so sure, Samson. You never know. <laughs> Those who get it, get it. My wife did this. And I compared it to holding a garden hose and she said, don't flatter yourself, Proto. <laughs> Proto. Sometimes being a support beam isn't good enough. You ever been puked on? Unfortunately. Liquid crawl. See, listen. Chats like these weed out the people that don't need to be here. And it also attracts those who do. Liquid crawl. Thanks for the sub. John G. Thanks for gifting sub to Proto. That deserves a reward. I have been puked on. It was not great. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. Y yourself? <laughs> hey, I'm here from Piss Talk. In bed. That's I, Luckily, that was not the situation for me. It was like out at a bar. But that... I, I have been the one that was drunk in bed, realized I was going to puke and evacuated myself. Not... I, I left and said, I got to go and then puked. I, I was aware enough to be like, I gotta go. Piss talk would just be rude in another TikTok fandom. Vanessa, <laughs> you have to one up us all. One time my phone fell out of my back pocket at a bar and I pissed on it. You hate to see that, Jess. You hate to see that. Like. As a student in nursing school, you're describing my daily. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I was driving a blackout drunk friend home from a bar once and reclined my passenger seat for him. When I got back around the driver's side, he was projectile vomiting all the way to the floor. Got none on himself. Dude, go out the window, my man. Bad time for evacuating myself. To I know. As I said it, I was like, wait. I was at a Smash tournament a few months ago and someone got crossbaited and pissed on someone else's controller. Dude, I would become violent, I think. I threw up <laughs> on my high school crush. That's like a movie in a bad way. <laughs> Just in the middle of the venue. That's you would have to be really cross faded, I guess. As someone who only very recently started indulging in um, the arts of weed, which is legal in my state. <laughs> Um, the, uh, the, the concept of being crossfaded is like very new to me, but it is powerful. Oh my God. Acid crossfaded. Okay. I can see how that could maybe <laughs> cause you to piss in the middle of a smash tournament venue. <laughs> Devil's lettuce. <laughs> I threw on a plane once and the bottom of the sick bag gave out and it went all over my lap in the seat. That is a literal nightmare, a literal nightmare. It's also Denver, so like shit hits harder out here. People aren't used to the elevation. That's that I forget about that, but that's so true. Don, is it harder for you to get drunk other places? <laughs> they're just pissing. I want to see smoke. <laughs> okay, they're pissing. The piss bros. <laughs> Zidane, I want to come back here. When I first saw the Adelon wall, I was scared. But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure, we'll come back after we check out the Aoife tree. <laughs> Thank you. We gotta come back and get Queena anyway. We can't just leave them here. Are you gonna come back for Aiko? <laughs> Her little face. Aiko's only six years old. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. I haven't seen her today. You're right. Koopo, Koopo, Koopo! <laughs> Aiko! Teehee! You can't break the seal of the Eva tree without calling an Adelon. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought. Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Vivi, Dagger, let's have fun. 
The Eva tree is beyond the Kondapiti mountain path. Let's go. Don't you dare. Why are you so nice to everyone, Zidane? Huh? What do you mean by that? Forget I asked. <laughs> Zidane's just like, I'm just being me. I think she was mad. You think so too? Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see if, if there's any. I love, I love that Morrison is like a formal Moogle. <laughs> Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see if, if there's any trouble. Sure thing. Like Morrison barely ever says Koopo. Vivi, have you figured out a solution to your problem? Not really. But I'm moving on. Good. My boys. <laughs> Hi, Moguo. Wait, empty block? Why did it take me to slot two? Does that matter? Surely not. Is it because this is full? It wasn't full before. No, I can look. It's not harder to get drunk, but my lungs are used to Denver now. So when we're in Seattle, I walked so much that I hurt my foot because I wasn't tired. Dude, you're like Rock Lee taking off the ankle weights, but lungs. Picked up my tablet for this deep talk. <laughs> never tried weed and I'm pretty, I'm probably never gonna going to at this, at this point. The safest moments were to do it have passed. It does help to have somebody with you that like is experienced in that. The piston cup, nice bunny. All those moves and none of them can save, so true. <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. Also, the gateway cow boxes are very funny. That's literally the box they sound. I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> All right, give me a second chat. I assume this is probably a good place if I'm gonna transfer over to a game that is not this one for a little bit, right? running anyway. Oil tonight, queen? Oh. Mod Lunky. Okay, wait. Make an account on this website, the longer the launcher. Log in on the launcher. Wait, this isn't the launcher, is it? Level editor? Pacifist? This, there's so much. Okay, I made my account. confusing myself. Wait, Don, where do I log in? I made my account. Is it in the mod Lunky or is it, do I launch the game? Is this, what do I?
You're good. And I downloaded this, but I don't think it's connected. It's under profile, but don't show that. Chat, don't look. Wait, in the website it is? I just don't know how I connect. I'm sure you haven't done this in quite a while. Settings. Oh, add token. Oh, API token. I see, I see, I see. Don't look chat. Okay, it says connected to Spelunky FYI. Uh, and then to install a mod. So now if you go to the mod page and refresh, you can just click install. I can. Holy shit. <gasps> Holy shit. Are there other ones that I should do while I'm here? Or should I just start with cloud? Check that guy and hit play. Oh my God, that's so easy. So I just, I launched the game through this then. If I've never launched the game on Steam, maybe I should launch that first. Hold on, Jeff. You should name Steam, okay. Hold on, let me, let me, let me change my category and such. Georgie, hello! Oh, bye YouTube! See you later!